In this video, we discuss the four things that we consider when looking at a property and determining if it's a good one to flip. And at the end, we will give you a fifth bonus tip. Number one, the most important rule of property is location because it's the only thing that you cannot change. Now there are certain things that make a property's location good for flipping. One is where it is located in relation to other amenities like highways, schools, and shopping centers. People always want to live close to these types of spaces and therefore it makes it really good if a property is located maybe within walking distance or easy driving distance to these amenities. As much as you want to be close to major highways and big bustling centers, you also don't want to be right on them. So you don't want your backyard wall to be a main busy road or something like that. We've even had properties where we had a big road adjacent to the property and then we built up a wall and added a water feature and added plants and a bunch of things. But people still are hesitant to buy those types of properties, even though it is secure, even though it is good, even though it's not as noisy as it used to be, people are more hesitant to buy those properties. And like I say, even through improvement, it's difficult to add the value and change the location in that sense. So that would be really bad from that point of view if it, if it is located close to a, a, a street that is super busy. The second part of location that is very in, important is the fact that you want to buy the worst house in the street or one of the worst houses in the street. So it's good if all the other houses are really nice and you are getting the property that hasn't been maintained hasn't been lived in by owner maybe it's been rented out or something like that where the tenants didn't take care of the property it looks really bad normally neighbors are really glad that somebody is doing something on this property and also comparatively you are probably buying a property for cheaper than other properties in this area and in that way you can go and make a difference up and create value because you've got that property for cheap and changed it to a property that is now expensive like its peers next door. A second thing we consider is price of course. If we can get a property for cheap enough it might be enough to counter everything else. If it is in a bad location as long as it is, it is cheap enough that would make a massive difference and would maybe make a property worth buying. The difficulty is to determine how much cheaper do I need to get a property for that is backed onto a busy street or that is in super bad condition or that is not the best, uh, the worst one in a street or, or all of these other factors that we are discussing in this video. Price can always counter them if the property is cheap enough. Then also regarding price, we want to find something that is, that has as big of a possible gap between what we can acquire this property for and that we can sell a property for in this area again afterwards. So we look at comparables of nicely renovated properties or neat properties in the area and what they have sold for and then how low we can get this other property or the one we are looking at. So if this gap becomes big enough between what we can purchase a property for that we are planning on flipping and what other houses in this property, in this area is selling for. We can essentially widen that gap and widen the, widen the profit possibility of this house. So we wanna buy it for as low as possible in that area and sell it for as high as possible and that is the value gap. So in there we do renovations and we'd have transfer costs and we'd have marketing costs and that remainder is profit. So the wider we can get this value gap, 
between what we buy property for and what we sell it for, the better. Number three is condition. The condition of the property is one of the most valuable aspects to take into consideration when considering if you want to do a flip on the property or not. A couple of things that we look at are things like the garden, things like the paint, the roof. All of these aspects will determine the price that you buy the property for because you will need to evaluate these things and then determine what it will cost you to fix them. These are definitely not things that will cause you not to buy the property because all of these things are fixable and are fixable quite easily because they are only aesthetic. Things like a roof normally cost a little bit more if you have serious damage, but it is never something that totally throws the property off the market. You will definitely be able to still make a profit if you've done your calculations correctly. All of these things are overcomable if the price is right that you're buying the property for. Number four is availability. Availability plays a really big role in what you are able to buy. Sometimes the market is a bit bare and there's not a lot of options at the right price where you can buy a property to flip. So when the availability of properties are scarce, you need to look at different options. You need to maybe look at something that you wouldn't have previously done when the market is saturated with properties. And these are things like Sometimes we get offered burnt houses or very dilapidated houses, something that maybe a roof blew off or, like I said, burnt houses. Uh, these are items that will not disqualify the property from being bought and being flipped. But again, the price needs to be right. If the price allows it, all of these challenges can be overcome. So sourcing properties is a difficult thing for sure. We try to, to conquer this problem by building relationships with a lot of estate agents. We also market that we privately buy these properties directly from the owner, but it always is a bit of a difficulty of finding the right properties. So keep your eyes open in the areas that you operate in to make sure that you spot these bad apples in the streets and get an offer to those owners. So number five, buy our property course. In this course, we go into a lot more detail in finding properties, determining if the area where the property is located is good for a flip, and also a lot more on underwriting the properties and getting the properties bought. We'll even throw in a coupon code. Use YouTube15, which will give you 15% off the total cost. See you in the next one.